Well, I've been practicing art since I was a child and always had an interest for art. But um, as I grew older, um, about when I was a late teenager, I got into calligraphy through a, through a person who introduced it to me. And since then, I tried it out. And I, since then, I, I practiced, uh, pr kept practicing. And I really liked it. And I got into more other types of Islamic art. And since then, I've been doing it for 25 years now. So it's very versatile. So since I've been doing it so many years, I have a general sense of how to mold it into other uh, ways that is not very traditional. So I like to stay within the traditional but explore other um, for, uh, shapes with it. My influence has actually been my own life, um, my, my own journey. Um, I, I, I incorporate a lot of Sufi ideas in my work, not, not, not so much Islamic but um, Sufi concepts. Um, that are generally connected to everybody as a whole. Um, uh, things that come from Rumi poetry and um, that connect to, and my recent work is uh, very connected to people in general that can relate in, that, that are people from all walks of life. Like I've done, um, I've gone into uh, a lot of um, universal symbols like the, in the flower of life and the yin yang and uh, the, the, the phoenix. Um, the, and I incorporate it in a, in, I incorporate my own style, which is, you know, Islamic way. So with the arabesque and the geometry and the calligraphy. So I want to focus um, for the, for future pieces, I want to focus um, on soul, on the soul and, and uh, themes that revolve around that, uh, around uh, harmony and balance and love and um, the theme of, of, of the heart and, and the internal heart and love. So, and incorporate it in ways that it, it uh, relates to everybody in, in ways that we, with symbolism of certain universal symbols, uh, and incorporate those with the Arabic. And um, this piece is, um, is called the Tree of Praise. And it's meant to kind of, it's meant to, it was inspired by nature, obviously, in springtime. And it's, um, it's meant to show the, the, the internal kind of, uh, realm of, of nature and how it's it's governed by in our belief is governed by God or, or love or whatever you want entity you want to call it but it's um, so it's showing that it's internal nature of what makes nature alive and what gives it a soul so that's what I'm trying to show here with the calligraphy uh, the shaped in, into the birds and there's certain um, real life um, in, uh, real life nature pieces that I've incorporated in it that actually have certain, uh, you can say Arabic name saying God in it. That's our belief. So I'm kind of, sh that's the expression here. And then on the leaves, it says, yeah, each leaf says God in the veins. This one is called the flower of life. I'm sure a lot of people have noticed, uh, are very familiar with this. It's a very universal symbol that, um, that expresses that we are all one. So it's my, I, I'm very passionate about this, uh, this theme of everyone being one and that we're all from the same source. So this is, it's very much like that in the daisies in the middle symbolize people who are, who are guides, who are um, kind of very inspirational that guide other people and they're like uh, bouquets of flowers that, that spread spread their beauty all around the world so it's, it's kind of symbolizes the world and um, the sun and uh, like in a, all of us together with all our beauty and our uh, collectively we form like a sun um, and the colors are inspired by um, you know jewels gems like the the blue diamond and the emerald and um, the the ruby so those are all supposed to symbolize humans they were all we're all gems in our purest soulful form, and we're all connected uh, in a in in eternal sun that's yeah, that gives light to everyone around us.